Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, in the old vice, I've got a uh, A-Rex HR-412 low water single. It's a size 8 uh, hook. I've got uh, 6 -0, uh Danville in red. Waxed. And I'm also going to use a, a 6 uh Uni in black. We're going to tie a uh, zonker. This zonker is called the White Death. It's a steel head uh, trout fly pattern. We're going to use some uh, flat braid white uh, zonker strip it's a magnum strip and uh, we're going to go right here behind the eye where we tied it on where we tied the thread on and get our mylar going excuse me our braid oops about outran it my uh braid there flat braid it's fresh out of the fabric store so it works from there too we're going to go down to about the bend of the hook I'm going to run that back up just to kind of tie it off a little better so it don't slip and then I'm going to put that thread back there and we're going to start our black. I need to run a little wax through that bad boy. We're going to go right back to the head there. Tie that on. We're going to take our braid. Get her started here. You can use a rotary function on your vise if you feel like it. There's just so uh, so much thread and things hanging every different way. I'm not going to even think about it. that tied on there the original pattern with this uh, is tied with tubing so by all means I mean if you want uh, to use tubing you're more than welcome up my head there get a little better tie in there okay I got a little braid hanging down We're going to take our zonker strip here. and This is a magnum zonker strip. Use a regular, whatever you want to do. And uh, I'm going to cut a little picket on the end of it. That's what I'm talking about when I say a picket, a little point. We'll tie that in. Right up to the hook point there, or to the eye, probably not the point. <laughs> that little point just helps you uh, catch it and tie it in. And 
Hepsi iyi var. Tayyip at dizin her an. And I'm going to use my uh, small whip finisher on this one. Uh, I'm going to use two different sizes whip finisher. I'm going to use a bigger gapped whip finisher. Uh, you don't have to. I'm going to use it just because I have it. Uh, what I'm talking about is one like that one compared to that one. Just, you know, a wider gap. You don't have to have it to do anything. While we've got that all peeled back, uh, I'm going to take some uh, solar res, some uh, bone dry. Let's let that get in there. It soaks in pretty good. That's what's good about it. And you, uh, you won't pull that out now. And we're going to go right here where our red thread is tied in. I'm going to wet that just a little bit so I can pull it forward. Untie it here from my uh, vice. Hopefully, I won't have a mouthful of rabbit. If you want to use bigger thread, you can. And this is this is okay with me because I, I I'm used to it and it, you know I break it a lot of times but I mean I pretty much know uh, how much uh, tension I can get on it. Okay, I'll wet that one more time. It dries out pretty quick, and we're gonna take our uh, bigger whip finisher. That's where it comes in handy. Pretty simple tie, guys. And gals. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna do the same thing again with the uh, solar res. Like I said, it just soaks in so well. And we're going to go back here. I'll go about a quarter of the hook shank. We're going to cut the uh, leather, not the uh, fur. See, that leaves us plenty of a tail there. Here we are here. Voila, we have the white death. And... Uh, I don't know what happened with that business there with that. I'm going to put a little touch of bone dry on that uh, flat braid. And it'll stay for days, guys. It's a fishing fly, so I ain't too worried about it. I might be a lot more concerned if uh, somebody was going to hang it up on the wall or something. 
but that wouldn't be me. I'm uh, I'm gonna take these points off down here. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take these points off just a little bit right here on the corners. That's the thing about that magnum. If you use that magnum, it'll do that. That's pretty wide stuff. You can comb it out. Guys, that's called the white death. Pretty quick tie. Uh, hope you guys liked it. But I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, maybe someday I'll see you on the water.